Those aren't even. Li- that's weird. It's like a bill. It's like a turtle like a, lips. I don't know how far I can. It's like, it, lo- it makes you look like a twatapus. Nice. Yeah, I haven't heard that before. That's a good one. I just came up I with like it. That. That's a pretty good one. Twatapus. He has twatapus. turtle mouth. Okay. Yeah, I can make it disappear. We've done that before. I can make the lips duck out. No, they're not. Make they're them still disappear not. again, though. It's just like skin ducking out. No, ew, mm-hmm. God. Ew. Can you see? It looks like a like a butthole, but there's a turd. But it's like, but why is it so it's white? It's coming out of the hole. It's like it's hitting the wall, the inside. You know, like when you're trying to put a key in and you just you're fucking just digging. Yeah, exactly it. Or when you're trying to fill uh, fit a screw through a hole and it's just around the sides. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Why is it so white and yeah. irritated? Yeah, why does your skin turn white like actual paper white? Do it again. Um, just because I'm str- I'm straining it. <laughs> I'm making my mouth really small. Straining the oh. muscles, I guess. It's just like uh, like when you put, uh, if you're doing like football, you're playing football, you do a three point stance. And if you're your, doing uh, football, um, your knuckles turn white, you know, from the yeah, stress. Yeah. It's the same thing I'm doing to my lips. It's just making them small. You're knuckling your lips. It's easy to okay. do that because I've got, you know, thin paper white people lips that, you know, that's that's a special talent. No, you got ours. pink Okami lips, you there fucking Ukrainian trash. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that. I Don't do what? Don't say that. Why? I already said it. <laughs> Don't. I can't. Stop. Not. I've already done. <laughs> I can't. No. Anyways, welcome back to the Open Mic Podcast. Men can't get pregnant. Anyways, with me as always, Jason. Blue hair? Okay. okay. Yeah. That's a thing. Yeah. And our producer's here. You won't see her, but her name is... Chickadee. Chickadee. This is our producer, Chickadee. <laughs> Paranoid about you finding her social media. So, uh, what's Not up, even. Chickadee? What, where do we go from here? What do we do now? I feel like I've already fucked the whole thing up. Yeah. Uh, your Sorry, name's in the title, it. so you're driving, pal. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's go on then. <laughs> uh, got a new episode. I can't even talk. <laughs> I'm we've got a new we've episode. Got, we got new <laughs> episode. And if you were like, I uh, dyed my hair blue. Yeah. Chop my dick off. <laughs> Anyways. No, we're back this week. Uh, we had a break. I'm sure you guys knew that. If you're actual listeners, and if you're new, uh, hi. Mwah. Glad you're here. Uh, check out my social media at Mikey B the Comic. I am about to put some shows up that just came in and uh, come out. I, I I'm gonna do it. So yeah, let's watch them go. Yeah, watch me go. Yeah. High five them along the way. I actually am uniting the the world one high five at a time. Mm-hmm. See, I already stuttered once, so now my brain is like, nah, we're going to fuck the whole thing up. Are you picking that coalition back up with the high five project? The I high five collab? I never stopped. Okay. I still high five strangers. Nice. And even if they look at me weird, I'm like, it's just a high five. Some chicks get weird about it, and they're like, I don't want to touch you. I'm like, I'm not trying to have you high five my dick. <laughs> Let's start with a hand and see where it yeah, goes. Yeah, you know, people germs, this, that, the other. I get you it. Know, maybe they've had bad experiences. Who knows? Who I get knows? it because there's some people I look at and I'm like, I ain't touching you now. Of course. I'll unify the world, but you stand yeah. on the outside. Um, the high five wasn't supposed to be like that. So, you know, relax. What no, was it supposed to be? Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Less friendly. Oh, I thought you were telling me it wasn't supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, no, oh, just okay. in general. Like, it wasn't supposed to be like that. Just calm down, you know. Um, well, good. I'm glad that you're picking that coalition back up. Never dropped it again. See, Jason doesn't listen. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we don't high five. We fist bump. Yeah. And then uh, also on Christmas, he hugged me so hard. My neck was out of whack for two weeks. So we're done hugging now. Yeah. You know, what I was thinking about the other day uh, when we used to go to McFadden's when it was there. Man. One of the first times we went when we were both skinny, we lost all the weight. Yes. And Jason kissed me. On the yep. mouth? No, not on the mouth. On the cheek? It was, no, on the cheek. It was pretty close to you, the lip you, on the side of the mouth. I got, I, I, I purpose was, got very close. Corners. It was corner very to close. corner right here. No, very man. close. Fuck out of here, man. I think I'm comfortable with my sexuality. You know, I love this man. Well, yeah. you, can blame, you can blame you can blame the dollar drinks for that. Oh yeah, we were hammered, but we we had both just lost a bunch of weight too. And he's like, "I love you, man." And mwah. There we go. And I called you motherfucker. Mwah, you know, so that's what if he did. I really like you, that could happen. Yeah, and then I called him the N word, and we did some more shots. Exactly. As we normally do. Yes. But uh, we can move into this pretty quick. Let's uh, let's look at some videos. And let me ask, who's your favorite superhero? If you had to name one, Spider-Man, Superman, Batman, any of those, Deadpool. Mine was always Spawn. Number Spawn? One. Spawn or Lobo. Lobo. I don't yeah. know. What's Lobo? That sounds Mexican. Uh, look it up. Um, one of the most amazing I'm superheroes not in, the, in the industry of superheroes. He can take on Superman. As strong as, if not stronger than Superman. Well, Superman. He's an intergalactic bounty hunter. Also, he happens to be a demon at the same time. Don't knock it, man. I didn't knock it. I just oh, don't know what it is. I think they're making a movie. I'm it. not going to look it up only because of the way you told me to look it up. Yeah. Look, look up look Lobo. It up. 
show this guy up. Everybody tell this Look guy up. off. I he doesn't know what the fuck's going on with Lobo. So. Let me cut you in line. I got to order coffee. <laughs> yeah, look it up. Nah, yeah. That's what I took it as. I feel like if anyone could come to my rescue here on this one about Lobo, it's possibly Dan Danzy or many other people. But Yeah, but he can't reach the doorknob, so <laughs> whatever. It's fine. Hey, Danzy. Enjoy Pennsylvania, you prick. Anyways, uh, my favorite is, I think it's Wolverine. Wolverine's dope. I like Wolverine. He's in my top five. Yeah. He's like an underdog too, but also you can't really destroy Wolverine. Mm-hmm. They did in Logan, but it's, I mean, they had, they, he just didn't want to do the character. Can we anymore. do a top five? Let's do five. Five? Starting at five. Down to, uh, to number one. Well, I, I don't know. I, I don't have them in order, but I'll okay. say five. Okay. It's Wolverine. All right. Gambit. Yeah. Uh, it's all for the X Men. Oh, mon ami. Yeah, mon right. ami. Yeah. Ah, 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 he has uh, the baton he spins around. And he's right? got playing cards he hits you with. And you're like, That's ah, right. man, that is my card. That, no, those bitches are razor sharp. They'll slice you. Oh, all right. So he's chopping celery with those fucking things. <laughs> uh, I mean, I didn't even know anything about Deadpool until the movies came out, but mm-hmm. I love Deadpool. Okay. Um, it doesn't have to be a lifelong thing. You can just learn yeah, the whatever. superhero the other Hulk day. Hulk and Batman. Yeah. And the other one, I want to pick somebody dark. I don't know. If I knew about that Lobo guy, that actually sounds pretty cool. Mm. I'll say, uh, I can't think of another dark one right now. Black Panther? Spawn. Uh, Black Panther, that's too dark. Mm. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, Black Panther, and the second Black joke. Panther, trash. Pff, you got to fight water Mexicans. That didn't make any sense to me. Mm. And then they team up at the end. Pff, suck my dick. Whatever. Mm. No, fuck off. Do better, guys. Dumb. Do better. They were just trying to hurry because Chadwick Boseman died, and they were trying to capitalize on it instead of making a good movie. Yeah. I'll say Captain Marvel because I have no problem with a woman su- okay. superhero. Okay. Not at all. Okay. So Lobo, Spawn, Batman, absolutely. Punisher, and Homelander. Ooh, Homelander. Oh, Homelander. He's kind of a bad guy. Yeah. I didn't even think about those. Damn. Lobo's not a good guy either. Just so you know, was... Punisher's not a good guy either, man. If we were if we were doing... Batman's uh, not necessary. Well, Batman is a good guy. If we were doing them, I would have said Billy, Billy Bats. And I want Billy yeah. Bats. Yeah. Billy, Billy Butcher. Billy Butcher, yeah. Butcher. I'm going to call him Billy Bats. Billy Bats got his ass kicked in Casino, remember? Oh, Which yeah, Billy, yeah, 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 yeah. That's Billy Bats. Yeah. I'm mixing genres. All right. <laughs> Billy Butcher. I'm the yeah, Butcher. Yeah, Billy Butcher would have kicked the yeah. shit out of Billy Bats, too. Yeah. He would have called him a cunt while he did it. I like the way he says cunt, though. You bloody cunt. What are you cunts doing, eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not derogatory. Oh, yeah, I forgot. YouTube's going to pull hide us from the algorithm like they did with the last one. Oh, whatever. He's actually Fuck my favorite YouTube. character on that show anyway. But whole, yeah, he's Billy the best. Butcher. He's but the best Homelander one. is, if I had to go with a superhero traditional, he's on that list. Well, he's, he's literally you. I always yeah. root for the bad guy. Yeah. You well, know? also, so. and if they're douchey, that just helps because you're like, I identify with this. It's true. Yeah. It's true. Just like Dennis from Always Sunny. It's okay. I can admit who I am and where I fit in. You and Dennis are the same. Uh, They're not the same. They have tendencies. We have qualities. Essentially. Sociopath qualities. It's okay. Yeah. Call it what you want. Well, how about I show you guys my new favorite superhero? Take a look at this. So I wanted to do a Spidey cosplay last night, but everybody's like, ha waiting for the queef. So um, I made a video. What, do you guys want me to come in like this? Like, can I just post a thirst trap without being like, let one rip? Anyways. With great power comes great queef. That's, I mean, she said she's trying to post a thirst trap. I'm like, this is a thirst trap. I mean, those clapping meat curtains are definitely something to be concerned with. If I was trying to holler at her because it sounds like she's wanting a thirst trap, guys, I would be worried about a little bit of looseness. Why are we so flappy? I would be hoping for it. It's flappy bird over yeah. here. It's you true. think anybody tight wants you inside them? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, all right. There's a chance. When I go out in the world, I like experience, not just something brand new. I get you. I get yeah. you. I mean, of course, it's always cool to be the first to be a pioneer, but... Psh, ain't no pioneer going there. Yeah, that's that pioneer's already gone. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah, a lot of preferences. Uh, that sounded wet. You should check your <laughs> pants, ma'am. Uh, also, I don't. I guess you can learn how to queef like that. But like, is that a, is that a thing? Can girls just do that when they want? I thought it was only like ask a woman. I was. I, I mean, apparently, but I don't. I honestly can't 
in my brain, it doesn't it doesn't f- compute how you can just do that. It sounds too close. You got to gotta a, fill it up with air. It sounds too close to a fart for me. Well, it is. It's a pussy me. fart. It is a pussy fart. What Damn. movie was that? Where it like, only oh, happens when you fill it with fart. air. I know, but that that's okay. That's my question. Like, are they sucking air in? To do that? Because if so, if you get like too good at doing that and used to doing it, how can you go swimming without filling with water and drowning? It's so, a valid so, so you're thinking that a, a vagina slash uterus is like a satchel that can like just carry water? Do you think she's queefing from her uterus? <laughs> Is that where they're coming from? I mean, it's coming from pretty deep. So there's some base. There's some base to them. I don't know. So if you're pregnant and you queef, you might pop the baby out for a second. He might. I'd be he, careful. You might get a little hello from the kid and he goes back in. <laughs> no, hey, we weren't ready. Or he might be like, "This is my apartment. Stay out of here." And he goes back in. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't. Th- I don't think they queef. Do I? Have, I'm pretty stupid. Do women queef from their uterus? Is that no? Is it from the ovaries? It's from your the vagina, the it's cavity from your, of the, the vagina, the, the right? Vagina it's from canal. your vaginal canal. Yeah. The vaginal canal. There we go. Yeah. See, I was right. Your pussy yeah. hole. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. It's disgusting. It. Yes, yes, your pussy hole, disgusting. Mike. Take note that I didn't ruin any part of the algorithm. You've done all the ruining here with the wording, the I verbiage, just, with the verbiage. I just figured if one of us is going to ruin it, it should be me. I'm fair. And also for those of y'all listening, uh, if, if you just don't know this, we do have video available. If you're on Spotify or YouTube, and you're like, "What are they talking about?" Click on it when these videos play, and you can you can see it. Yeah, it's how the world works. It's here. Yeah. Yep. We make clips from this. Yeah. yeah, I mean, we follow our social media and actually like stuff. I mean, even though nobody from our page actually likes it, but we do have a ton of followers at the Open Mic Podcast. Go to any platform you want to go to. Anyways, uh, let's stay on this trend. <laughs> so there's a, there's, a, there's a lot to unpack here. Okay, so. First off, I mean we've got all of we've got all the W's. You got the who, what, where, why, and when. Where porter potty? Obviously. When? Who cares? Why? It's giving on drugs at a festival. Who is this bitch? Why did she do this? Yeah, and how many people are in that porter potty? Because those things are, I can barely fit in one by myself. No, it sounds like there's if, a group of them. If somebody told me they were just like, "Hey, I'm going to lick this thumb," I would shoot right in to be able to get that on video. Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely yeah, for sure. And also, I'd be like. Do it. <laughs> do it. I want to see you do it. You're yeah. going to do it? Because that's something that could be a would you rather. Like, I need I need some motivation. I need money. I need a reason to do it. I mean, she sticks her head in there at the end. Um, And it looked like there was a mess already inside that thing. So well, There was definitely, there, there was excrement inside that. There was shit. You could see the poop. Man. Piled up. Even a clean porta potty, I don't want that blue water on me. It's not for me. Yeah. It's not for me. Like I just I don't want I don't I don't do poop play, man. It's just not a thing yeah. I play with. It's know? a no for me, dog. Mm-mm. Yeah, Mm-mm. I, I have don't a like thought. that. Okay, but what if the thought was that they were like, "I'll give you this if you do that." So whatever I'll give you this is, and she's like, "Okay," and they were like, "This is hilarious." I feel like it is like that. Like a, like you said, it's like a festival. There was a trade-off. And they were like, I'll give you some Coke if you lick this porta potty. Absolutely. Or some anything. She's like, let me, yep. let me get one of those mollies. He's like, go lick a porta potty. She's like, okay. Okay. For two then. Yeah. Yep. yep. All right, well, stick your head in there then. I always like to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I feel like... She was like forced no. into doing it. Or something. No, no, she that like was needed that to, do it to get something like, hey, for your for the whole bag. Dunk your face in that. Yeah, <laughs> she get, she gets no benefit of no doubt. You're not if you did that uh, on the internet. Then uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk shit about it because you yep. look stupid. I hope your kids see that one day. I hope your kids are in there. <laughs> what if she got sick? What if, what if she just miscarried in that porta potty and she was looking for her kid? Ill. That's mean. That's pretty Man, rude. Yeah. That was dark, yeah, Mike. That was pretty dark. I don't yeah. condone all the things he says. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, sounds like we're done with I that. I laugh nervously because I don't want to be a part of that conversation anymore. Yeah. How about this? This will make you mad.
I gotta say, man, messing with people's food is like it feels like it feels like death sentence type stuff, man. Like serious reason to fight, you know? It's serious reason. You don't you don't mess with another person's food, the things they consume. That's nasty. That's, that's horrible. Nasty, dude. That's that's ass kicking territory right there. At the least, you deserve a good ass kicking to do, especially a public thing. How many people walk by those juice carts and are like, oh, it's so hot, I'll get a juice real quick. This guy's sticking his whole fucking dookie hand in there. No. Like, come on. And then he's even just to squeeze the lime, he's using the dookie hand. He had a doo-doo finger. Like, that's fucked up, man. Yo, come he, on. He had the cock a touch in, you, in, the, in, the, in the drink. He smelled it. And now you've got, now you've got the cock cooties You drink the cock cooties Then the, you wonder why you get ill. Ugh. And then while you're sick for like three days, and all you think about is, oh, it must have been that green thing I drank when I was passing by that Jugo stand or something. Like, I know I'm fat and I'll eat and drink a lot of things, but that's why when I see one of those things, I see people drink like a little cart like that, or even some of these little food trucks that drive around and and people are drinking and licking their face. I'm like, oh, disease. I'm like, you're going to fucking, you're going to shit blood. You're going to have a demon in your belly. I, I'm not so much a germaphobe, but like I'm just mostly hesitant on just even eating out. That's why I've learned how to become a really good cook, chef, and preparer of foods and drinks and shit because I know it's clean if I made it, you know? Yeah, I even when I get stuff home from the store, I feel like I have to wash my hands after tugging the, touching the packages because uh, you never know who's oh, picking that sure. up with their fucking booger oh, caca no, fingers. Any of that. And, any of that. Ugh. Look, touching the cart, dude, I've actually touched the cart and made the mistake of like touching my fingers to my mouth or something like that. Sick. Yeah. Got sick. Yeah. I knew immediately what it was. I was like, oh, at the second it happened, I was like, oh, shit. I just bit my nail. Oh, uh, that's the grime that's in there. Sometimes I just you get bit some of the nail grit. And oh, I never washed my hands from the cart at Walmart. Maybe you should tell uh. them the story about the fork and the pork. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I remember that I was preparing a nice pork chop dinner for everybody. It was a delicious pork I'll chop. I'll buy some pork chops. And, uh, and I'm a good pork chop procurer and uh, preparer. You as can just well. say, I cook pork chops. Good. I do. I, I cook them well. And um, so I was like just doing what I did with them. I put them inside the, the, the air fryer. I was air frying these ones. And uh, after it was all said and done, just I don't know why I did it, but I just like put the fork in my mouth, just licked the fork. Because I spread some sort of like a uh, some sort of a coating on them, and just when it was left over, I was just like, right. just like in the sauce off. Yep, and then just put it in the sink, and I was like, oh like, shit, that just had raw pork on it. Yeah, and like I even tried to make myself throw up, like nothing came up. It wouldn't. It's too late. Too late. Yeah. So what damage happened? was I was I had salmonella for like four days. Oh yeah, violent both ends. That's that's yeah. fucking sucks. Yeah. And so I'm, so I, I try to remember not to do that. And the last time I did that was shortly after COVID, and I, it was the Walmart handle thing, and I bit my fingernail, and I got sick, and I'm like, nope, never again. So you, that story is the reason why when I'm cooking meat or like chicken or whatever, and you know, like you put stuff in the pan in the oil, like garlic and stuff like that, and when you move it around, you get those little pieces that taste really good on the spatula. Mm-hmm. But that's why I don't eat those anymore. It's because I'm like, yeah, I was flipping raw chicken with this, though. Maybe I shouldn't put my mouth on it. So and it's probably fine, but still at the same time, I'm like, nah, it's fine. I don't need it. No, I'll tell you, I think there's this here. I think here's the science to it, and I'm just guessing here. I could be wrong. So I think it's because since that spatula, fork, spoon, whatever you're using, it did touch raw meat, but because it touched like hot grease, hot oil, hot butter, a hot surface, other food being cooked. It was like a temperature of over like whatever, 120, 140, 160 degrees, whatever. I think it killed whatever it touched that was raw. That's what I think. Mm, yeah. I could be wrong. Let me know how that turns out. I mean, yeah. I, I've been like eating off the spatula and serving off the spatula. I mean, like since forever. Well, here's the thing. I still be eating it. I lied. <laughs> yeah. No, it's all good. Of course. Although, especially when, I, making, when, you like, said, when you said you didn't eat something, I was I'm like, shut the fuck up. Especially when you get those <laughs> burn pieces that look really, they're the best pieces. The, it's all seasoning and fat and garlic, little pieces of garlic that fell off. If I dropped it on the it's floor, so I'd still pick it up and eat it. Oh, well, yeah. The floor is different. I mean. I walk there. It's got to be fine. <laughs> it's whatever. Yeah. It's my feet that step there. The if it, step, if it hits the floor and then you cook it, you cook the dirt out of it. It's, it's fine. true. It's true. And yeah. it's already heated up well enough that it's not going to contain germs. So. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. Let's move on. Guys, this is Gabriel. Big Dog Tino's on vacation. He's got eight and eight. Took advantage of the special. Yeah, yeah. Come fuck with Sal. got the best price in the SA. Hell, y'all. Big CMG, CSK shit, nigga. Hell Let me yeah. see, man. Let me see if we're... Ooh, boy. What a fucking poet, huh? It's a real 
Wordsmith. I think that we should use that man for more advertising campaigns, to be honest with you. I think that he should be the pitch man for every product on the market. I think he should sell stocks. If he can make it sound good, it must be good. Yeah. You know what uh, I'm saying? Hell yeah. Come fuck with him, man. <laughs> this dude can barely grow a mustache. I'm looking at the picture of him right here on my phone. And he's got he's got little baby pube chin. Hey, I'm going to tell you what. He's going to be getting in between and clapping him cheeks more frequently with that gold grill. Now, so he's going to get a lot more of this happening right here. Oh, yeah. They're going to tarnish from <laughs> pussy juice. They're going to ru- They're going to rust his grill. They're going to be like rose gold the next time you see him in about a year. Yeah. They're going to be brass in about six months. <laughs> six months. Six months. See, stutter. God damn it. Yeah. I, I started thinking about pussy and I started thinking about munching. I'm That's sorry. It. That's how it works. You're welcome. I'm six a feminist. Munch. And six That's munch. the episode. I'm, 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 That's I'm, the name. Six I'm, munch. I'm. Yeah. And six munch. Yep. Six, a, six it, munch from now. It's a six munch. Yeah. yeah. Brass and six munch. Yeah. All right. I don't want to talk to this guy about this guy. Jordan's dirty. Can I, can I get everybody to help me? I kind of get it as a sneakerhead. I get it, but I'm not going to have dudes care. I'm not a. I'm not an infant. I'm not an invalid child. You know, That's stupid. I, I feel like he could have thought ahead a little bit better, and maybe he just even had like some of those contractor fucking slip covers or something like that. For bring some slides with you. That, see, when I go to a show, and like today, I'm wearing uh, uh, show shoes as a car because I wear a lot of Jordans, but. If I'm wearing shoes I don't want to crease, I don't want to drive in them, I put them in the car, and then I wear like slides or some other shoes I don't care about, and when I get to the venue, then I put them on. There's a system, for sure. Yeah, yeah. you don't have to, you just, you look like, you look like a retarded child. I'm sorry, that's, you look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, the part for me was just like, can everybody help me? Can you help me, please? Yeah. Everybody can everybody please can help I me? spill my banana in the back of the Rolls Royce? <laughs> it's the way that he can do that and have people carry him yeah that's what it was about of course i, I of know course, but still like course. why like i don't care how much if, if i ever get to, like that amount of money i don't want to i say that but i'm gonna have people be like bring me my tea now I'm, I'm to my bedroom i'm specifically gonna make sure we get a video of showing that if that yeah. happens yeah that's okay sure. yeah. i put the two next yeah <laughs> no i'm definitely gonna do that but i don't know i just what, what made me the most mad is when i found the video they had a, a thumbnail on it that said, DJ Kellen invents new way to not get his shoes dirty. You didn't invent shit. All you did was had two ashamed bodyguards carry you. He's like our generation. I was going to say, it seems like the kids now, but he's like our generation. But it yeah. seems like everybody's taking credit for like shit that, that nobody's talked about for like 20 years. And like, hey, this is the way that you do this. I figured this out. And it's like, no, it's already known. It, yeah. it was already known. And plus, you when, you, when you say it like that, you, you make it sound like it applies to everybody. Like, oh, you don't want to get your shoes dirty? Just have your bodyguards carry you. You don't have bodyguards? I didn't What's... fucking think of that. Yeah. That made me angry. Yeah, no. Yeah. I get it. I got it at first, and then I was like, you're kind of a douchebag for doing that. Yeah. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I mean, I am but... a hater, and I will admit that. Okay. I don't give it's a okay. shit. I but... mean, hate on me back. It's all yeah. good. You know? I just have nothing, so feel free. Good luck finding <laughs> something. Okay, Whitney Houston. Yeah, tell right. me I have nothing. <laughs> Bodyguard? <laughs> I want to dance and with somebody I, and not you. That is a good with song. somebody who loves me. That is a great you. song. That was hot. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a look at this one. Hey guys, um, update. I didn't get the job. I just got the email. Um, I'm guessing my appearance had a lot to do with it. Basically, yeah. Uh, like wholeheartedly that's exactly the reason why hey no offense uh you seem like a nice person and uh again i can't stress this enough no offense i can't have you be the face of the company like you can't be the receptionist um i get you know maybe a call center job i can't have you disrupting the people around you know here here at our company we really don't care what the customers think about our appearance but we don't want to look at you so (laughs) no you're not getting the job have you ever seen that person that tattooed their whole body and split their tongue and he has the piercings and it, to look like a lizard? 
Yeah. The lizard man, you whatever his name is. consider doing that. He's probably going to die soon, and they need to replace him. They look like they're halfway there to the lizard thing, and they decide, like, I don't want to do lizard. Maybe I'll do, like, a little paisley thing here, and uh, that's cute enough, right? That churches it up. Chickadee over here seems to think that maybe this lady was forced to do this, maybe by a lover, like an ownership type scenario, a bonded BDSM. It bondage. happens all the time. It does. I know. I get it. Yeah. Uh, you know, possible. I, I don't think that's it, though. I think this person is just an idiot. Or she sick. had his name like tattooed on her forehead or something. Mm-hmm. And then she was like, well, let me cover after it. They broke up to fix it covered it up. And it was like all yeah. over her whole face. Well, it's very homophobic of you to not think she might be a lesbo. I'm just saying her lover, her partner, know, her partner her said other, to do that. And I think that that really could have been the case. Or insignificant. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that person just probably had some other bad tattoos. Because it looks like it's just one color mostly, but it's like blotchy. Like but it also just, looks like a cover up because it's so much. It's so dark. Yeah, There's it no does. Detail. It looks like it looks like they were the first person that fell asleep at a tattoo convention party, and they were like, oh, "You know what would be funny? How <laughs> fucked up do you have to be to not feel needles drawing on your face?" I mean, I mean, I've nodded off during a tattoo, like almost, you know, you get that numbing pain after a while. But there's a lot of prescription meds that'll take you there. Well, <laughs> true, <laughs> true. Hit me up if you got some of those. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I I think it might be my opinion. You think? Do you think? Do you, is that what you think? Mm. Or maybe you stuttered during the interview. That's what it was. Um, you look like a head of lettuce. You look like a broccoli piece. You I look mean, like trans Ronald McDonald. I think of Brussels sprouts when I look at you. A piece of broccoli? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what? hey, hey. Ho, ho, ho. A green <laughs> giant. <laughs> You look like a leprechaun with a hat on. You look like some baby shit with hair it's in it. It's giving leprosy. Um, I'm thinking like the hills have eyes a little bit even, you know? What if we're wrong and it's just a birthmark? Oh, I'm so sorry. I apologize, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Right? <laughs> Sir, I'm very sorry. <laughs> we're just hitting both sides. That's all. Just like your tattoo artist did. And look, I'm not. I'm obviously not against tattoos. Uh, if I didn't have to worry about it again, I'd, I, might, I don't think I'd do a face tattoo. Maybe some neck stuff. But uh, I don't think so. I'd go. I'd get some neck stuff. I, we eventually, I'd get some face stuff, yeah. but tasteful, like you know, maybe just a little, just no. some small here and here, no. or something like that. You know, no, I don't know. maybe a word or so, or no. something right here, small, maybe a palm subtle. tree, or right but also here, no. right in between. I right, nice yeah, yellow palm tree, tree. boulevard yeah. palm tree, right there in between. But also no, it's yeah, not bad. you can get you can get uh, on your cheeks. One side I can say get money, and the other side says fuck bitches. No, the cheeks, no. No, the cheeks are gonna stay OG. I'm not covering them. That's up. not OG. That's no G. No, I might pierce them. You know, pierce you know. your cheeks. Yeah, why not? You get, you get a couple of dimples, dimples. That's what I was gonna say. And when you take them out, water shoots out the sides like a cartoon. Yeah, you know what else? I can implant some horns under my skin. Get Ooh, some dermal, yeah, kind of type shit. We're gonna start a GoFundMe. If you guys pay for it, Jason will do it. I the paying is like pay all my yeah. bills, pay all my bills, and you know, I don't see what happens. I mean, come know? on, how much of a commitment do you want from these people? Well, I mean, I want a financial commitment to, to, well, to, yeah, to do true. it. You know. <laughs> Nah, never mind. Cancel okay. GoFundMe. Off the table. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on because now it's time for some crime stories. Time for crime stories. The search is on for a man police say robbed a Brink security guard at gunpoint. It happened outside the Chase Bank on Beltline Road in Irving. That's where our Olivia Leach joins us now live this afternoon. Olivia. That's right, Karen. It happened around 945 this morning. Irving police say a Brink security guard was just doing his job. He was likely loading money from this ATM you see behind me into a bag when an armed suspect came up on him, demanded that he remove his clothes and took off with a large sum of money. You can see in this video shot by an onlooker, the Brink security guard face down on the ground while a man points a gun at his face. That suspect then pulls the pants and gun belt off the security guard. Irving police say that was to make sure the security guard who was armed did not retaliate. Irving police say the armed suspect then grabbed the duffel bag containing a large amount of money and took off. Police say by the time they were called, the suspect had already fled. But they say the security guard's actions could have saved his life. 
Now, Irving police want you to take a look at these surveillance images of the suspect, who they believe followed the Brink security truck from another location to this Chase Bank in Irving. Police say he likely acted alone and was driving a black Malibu. Now, if you recognize that suspect or have any additional information about what went on here early this morning, they're asking you to call Irving police immediately. Hey, he made him pull his booty out. It's like, that's how you get somebody to uh, uh, submit to what you need. Make them get naked. Yeah, you made me take my pants off. I ain't chasing him. I'm like, nah, no, I'm just, I'll just stay here, bro. Like, do, do we really got to yeah. do all this? We really got to do all this? Like, I'll, I won't come after you. I mean, he did that so that he wouldn't draw his gun and run after him. But I would have been like, just take the gun. Just let me keep my pants on, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Yeah, it's once you got your dookie shootout, you ain't chasing nobody. No, no, Unless no. you're just really gun ho about you're it. Done. I Not mean, the dookie shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, once you pull out your tush, that's the end yeah. of it. Once the cockamaker's out, exposed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got to be honest. I hope this guy gets away. I, I mean, that's that's the dream, right? After you watch all these movies and stuff, it's like finding a bag of money, pulling off a successful heist, and they get away, and there's no complications. It seems like he scouted it out it's, pretty well. It did, and how they're like, oh, keep an eye out for this guy, the guy in the mask, hat, and sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, uh, I hope he gets away with it. We hardly ever do any of these crimes too, where the people don't get caught, and there's like no sentencing or anything like that to talk about. The funny uh, thing is, there was video from like four different directions on this. I remember seeing a couple of them the morning of on uh, TikTok, and uh, um, they they even said on the news they were like in, like instead of instead of like taking videos, like call nine one one, like call like call the police or get involved. Why it ain't my money? Let them get it. I know. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like that's how a lot of people are. But also, I feel like people the the age we're in now, they're like, I gotta get a video of this. Yeah. I can't believe this shit. Everybody wants to go viral. Everybody yeah. wants something viral. Yeah. Because that's how they get their bag of money. It's true. Yeah. But Where, also... Where's your internet money? I mean, he didn't uh, He didn't actually hurt anybody. No. And I'm not saying go out and rob anybody or anything like that or whatever. I feel like I have to say that. But as long as he didn't uh, use his own car, because they'll find that license plate mm -hmm. and they at least find out who he is. As long as he stole that car or whatever... I didn't borrow it from from like a cousin or something like that, which would be kind of fucked up. I feel up. like he'd have to pull one of those scenarios where you go into like a parking structure or a couple of, or like that, that covers where you pulled into so that whatever you pull out of, it's not certain that that was you. So that yeah. if it, the eye in the sky is looking down or something like that. Yeah, you know? but they got there so late. He was already gone. I feel like uh, even if he did use his own car, as long as he switched the license plates, like it's a bunch of black Malibus. I got an alibi. True, That's where true. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope he gets away with it. Yeah, whatever. I really yeah. do. Cool. Good for him. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, that's the show this week. Uh, let's wrap it up here. Let's, I think it's a good place to cut it. And we'll be back next week with more. Uh, as always, check out my social media at Mikey B the Comic on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, those are the only two places really you want to come find me. Uh, link to my website's on there. Got shows coming up and stuff. Also, check out the podcast pages. I mean, you know, we say this every week. Tell a friend at the Open Mic Podcast, M I K E. Uh, we got a lot of social media followers. There's a lot of content on there, uh, a lot of clips from uh, different episodes for you to check out. And there's a few other things mixed in too. Yeah, we see the shares. So just share shit. Share yeah, stuff. share something. Share. Like it, comment, yeah. whatever. Whatever, whatever you want to do uh well, come on like like help me out dude like, let's go come on <laughs> we want to get our internet money we did one live show is episode 100 go check that out if you haven't seen it it was a great show Fantastic. mikey winfield stopped by we're working on doing more of those and it'd really help if you guys would engage with us and we could actually sell some tickets uh now i don't even care about the money i just want people to be there and have a good show yeah because that also means i'll make some money from it absolutely uh you got anything else no chickadee it, man nope Chicka don't. All right. We're out of here. <laughs> Bye, nerds. See you.